of, first off, talk about the win with the team and I had taken on a team that beat you in the regional championship last year. Just kind of talk about playing them again this year. Well, you know, certainly we're aware of that, but they're just a good club and a good program. I hadn't thought about that too much, or I have thought about it, but I haven't stressed it with our team much because a lot of these guys weren't here. Uh, but, you know, it's just a good college baseball game. You know, first of all, great respect for Nova and their program. They, you know, great athletes, well coached, and, you know, we always feel fortunate any time we're able to, to come away from playing them with a win. Uh, story for us was pretty much putting together a couple of innings to score enough runs. And then, of course, the job that was done on the mound. Uh, you know, Trey is just phenomenal. And, you know, Hobbs and Osmond just uh, combined really well there. It's a great pressure situation for Osmond to come into. And uh, to respond to it the way he did is certainly big. But I'm really proud of Trey. You know, Trey's been a great teammate. He's been, uh, for two years, a great part of this program. Uh, has pitched in a lot of big games, and uh, you know, his certainly his last two performances are as good as any I've seen out of him in the time he's been here. He had all four pitches working, and we needed them all, and that makes him very tough, very difficult for hitters to to uh, square up. And uh, you know, he not only did he pitch great, not only did we get a you know a, a win, but we did it against a team that, in my opinion, is loaded with hitters. You talked about getting those hits. You had hit every inning just about, but couldn't get the runs in until that one. Just kind of talk about what was the guys were trying to do there. Yeah, I just I thought early in the game we just left a lot out there, and we had some big at bats, first and third, runner at second. Just couldn't, you know, just trying to do too much. Maybe just you know pressing a little bit at the plate. And uh, but you know, uh, turning point for us I think was the inning we put together. Ellis's double there. Brian Lane had a really good game tonight. Uh, carried us, you know, with a couple of big hits. And uh, uh, Casey had an RBI. He gave us that three-run lead late. So I don't know that we uh, maybe were real opportunistic, but we did enough to win against a really, uh, you know, a good, a good pitcher, I thought. And their staff is really good. Coach Tennyson, as far as the overall just pitching and, and the defense behind the pitching, how, how would you rank as far as games this year? This has got to be one of your top games of the season. Yeah, defensively, it's a great game. You know, our middle played really well, Nussbaum and, and uh, well, you know, all our infield played well, but particularly Nussbaum and Ellis had some tough chances and really converted those into outs. Uh, you know, our, our outfield uh, was solid. Uh, Popovich almost came up with a, you know, Fantastic catch out there in center, giving great effort after a ball. Bernie uh, made some good plays on some balls that were well hit at him. So, you know, anytime you know, you're able to do that, I don't think we made any errors. We don't have a box in front of me, but I don't think we made any errors. And uh, anyway, it was a, it, we made some really good plays that got us, you know, out off the field and in the dugout when we needed to. Trey, talk about the, the defense behind you. I know, I know. Part of that confidence had to be. I know you had to, a lot of. I know you had a lot of confidence in those guys behind. Oh yeah, you know they're my teammates. And, you know, if once once they see me out there pitching, I have to, I have to have that mindset of these guys are going to do good behind me. So I'm pitching the contact, trying to stay around the plate because I know my defense will make plays. Trey, we talked about last year you pitched against Nova and I'm losing the championship. How much did that motivate you? Um, I was thinking about it the whole the whole night. You know, I, w I didn't know if I was pitching or not because of the Tampa and Sub Nova game. But I was thinking about it the whole night. I was I said, I hope Nova win because you know I owe them one. We owe them one as a team. You know, they took the regional championship away from us. What were you seeing on the mound tonight? I, I was just seeing the mid. Nothing else. Just seeing the mid. Trey, when you look at the way you started last year, then kind of tailed off the second half. Starting slow this year and kind of pitching well now. Do you think you're kind of coming full circle? Um, yeah, I do. But I have to, at all times, you know, whether I do good, or whether I do bad, I have to have that positive attitude. You know, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Whether I'm pitching good, whether I'm pitching bad, I still have to be a teammate, and I still have to, you know, have great confidence in my teammates and myself. Finally, coach, we're playing for a region championship at home. It's going to be a special thing. 
Oh, it is. It was great. I told our team after the game when we were meeting post game that, uh, you know, we all as players and coaches dream about playing in an atmosphere like this in front of your hometown fans and, uh, you know, having that great memory and, uh, you know, they, they have supported us well all year long and they're turning out well for this tournament and I know they will again on Monday too. So, you know, we're excited about that. It's a great opportunity for us to play well in front of our alumni base in front of our fans here and uh, you know that's a pretty wide net there's a lot of people here from a lot of areas so we're, we're proud of that I think you know our uh, facility is a great one to host this tournament and uh, it's, it's icing on the cake when you play well and you know, finally I'll say this you know a big part of my coaching philosophy has always been that I think good things uh, happen to good people who work hard and, you know, Trey's a great example of that. He, ups and downs this year. He had a great year last year. This year he kind of had to fight for everything. And he's really come together and carrying us now through this postseason run. Uh, but more important than all of that is uh, the person he is, the teammate he is, the good leadership he provides to our team. So, uh, you know, in my view, all the success he's having now is well-deserved.